hello guys welcome to my youtube channel so today in this video i'm going to show you uh, how we can create a new dashboard widget into the wordpress so when i say a uh, dashboard widget let me show you what i am talking about so whenever you logs into your wordpress backend and there will be a dashboard so over here whatever you see this widgets these are called uh, dashboard widgets and in this video i'm going to show you how you can create your own dashboard widget so let's jump into the code so for that we will be using the dashboard widgets api uh, it is very simple um, let me show you so we will start we will continue using our custom plugin and if you are new to this video and you don't know how to create wordpress plugin then link is coming into the i button i would suggest go go ahead and watch that first and come back here so now um as i am going to add this into the admin side i will add a separate file for the admin area so it will be admin.php into the includes folder and into the includes folder i will create new file admin.php So uh, let's see uh, an example from their official um, document. So I will provide this link into the description section. So this is the function we are going to use. But before that, in what action we should add this function? So there is a predefined action for that, and we will use the same. And the action name is WP dashboard setup. This is the action from the WordPress. And we can use that uh, to add a new dashboard widget. So this is the callback. And in this callback, we will be using this function so let me copy paste and let's arrange the variables so that we can understand easily so the first argument will be widget id so it will be an identifying slug for your widget so currently i'm going to add a widget which displays the current date so i'll give it name current date then my widget name will be what is today third will be the callback so a function name in which you are going to write down your logic and in our case i will add a function which displays the current date last two parameters we are not going to use as it's an optional that will be in advanced case scenario uh, in this we will keep this simple so now i am going to write down this function and into this function i will print this date so this is the function date i18n 
to fetch current date and we have to add a format date format so i will add y m t h i s if you don't know what is y m d y stands for year m for month d for date h for hour i for minute and s for second so we will have this uh current date in this format year month date hour minute second so let me save this and now let's go back to this and refresh so as you can see our widget has been added over here let me move to this side and this is the title which we have added over here and this is the current date and time which we print over here so yeah this is the simple uh, way to add uh, dashboard widget and that's it guys thanks for watching the video if you have any doubt or question please write down below in the comment section thanks for watching the video hello guys uh, where you will you will have this code so this is my github uh, repo in which I have added my custom plugin uh, which I just showed you so I will provide this link into the description section and as we this is the tutorial 26 so go to this branch tutorial 26 and you will have your code over here so if we go to includes and this is the admin.php Thank you.